In his Major League debut on September 9, 2018, Arizona Diamondbacks pitcher Yoan Lopez stared down the Lucas Duda in the top of the ninth inning. Duda was pinch hitting and Lopez replaced then closer Brad Boxberger who just blew a 4-3 lead on a three-run home run off the bat of Ender Inciarte. There was one out. Lopez gave up three straight hits to three batters, allowing three runs, and no outs. A home run to Duda, a Ronald Acuna Jr. triple, and a Johan Camargo home run. He would promptly be pulled after not even recording an out. After his highly sought-after Major League debut, he now had an infinite era to keep the story short, Lopez learned his lesson. To this point in the 2019 season, those are the only runs allowed by the young right-hander in his career. Lopez has currently developed a streak of 15.2 consecutive innings of scoreless baseball. It almost echoes the accomplishment last season by Yoshi Hirano, who compiled 26 consecutive scoreless outings in the middle of the season. At just 25 years old, Lopez has already shut down some of the biggest bats most notably Manny Machado. In Friday night's game, Lopez blew three pitches right past Machado's bat to strike him out and end the inning. Lopez has a fire to him. He has swagger. He has everything that you would want out of a hard-throwing relief pitcher. Don't be surprised if the next closer of the Arizona Diamondbacks is Lopez. With all due respect to fan favorite Archie Bradley, Bradley has still not fully proven his ability to close out games, let alone hold on to them. After what was his breakout season in 2017, 2018 saw a rise in his era by nearly two whole runs in the same amount of innings. His ability to be the fire stopper fell apart after the All-Star break. The notable moment being Matt Kemp's weekend magic to start September. Once on Saturday then again on Sunday. And unfortunately for Bradley, this year has not been much easier. In fact, just this past Thursday he was entrusted to hold on to a 6-6 tie with the Padres and was unable to get past Manuel Margot. The Arizona Diamondbacks would lose the game on that swing. If you want to consider the remaining options, Hirano and Holland are both viable options but consider the comparison to the Saint. Lewis Cardinals. The Cardinals are putting their chips in on Jordan Hicks despite having experienced reliever Andrew Miller. Hicks can be developed into a great closer with his blazing velocity despite having had control issues early on. Even Mariano Rivera had to develop behind John Wetteland. If Lopez continues to mow down opponents, there should be nothing separating him from him in the final three outs of the ninth.